in terms of imaging, the question is, why do we need it? Uh, what, what's its purpose uh, in the whole diagnosis of IIH? And it's really twofold. Uh, number one, we want to rule out secondary causes of elevated intracranial pressures. Uh, there are other things that can cause it, uh, elevated pressures, such as a brain tumor, venous sinus thrombosis. Um, and the second reason for imaging is uh, that there are multiple imaging findings associated with IH that can really help suggest that diagnosis. So when it comes to imaging, uh, there are two different studies that are probably the most complete in its evaluation when it comes to imaging. Uh, one would be getting an MRI brain for your patient. Uh, many times, uh, if you can get an MRI orbits, that would be even better. Uh, in a lot of imaging centers, an MRI orbits usually contains some sequences of the whole brain as well. And this can be done as uh, with and without IV contrast. Uh, most findings can be seen without a contrast study, uh, but there are a few, uh, namely there'll be one that we'll be talking about that you can see with contrast. And the second type of study you wanna get is an MR venography of the head. Uh, and this can be with or without IV contrast. Uh, and just to clarify for any of um, the physicians that are not as familiar with MR venograms, uh, you can assess the major dural venous sinuses without IV contrast. We have certain techniques, uh, time of flight technique, phase contrast technique, where you can create contrast between flowing blood and stationary tissues, uh, taking advantage of differences in the magnitude and phase of magnetization. Uh, I won't go into too much detail uh, on how the techniques are actually done or the physics of it, but just know that there are techniques we can do uh, with MRI where you can assess the major dural venous sinuses without IV contrast, uh, as opposed to CT venograms where you would always require some sort of iodinated contrast. So just keep that in mind. Uh, but you can certainly get an MR venogram with contrast as well. Uh, there have been other, you know, there are physicians that will sometimes order CT studies and that's completely fine too. Just keep in mind some of the findings that you can see in IH may be missed on CT, uh, as well as CT also um, being with ionizing radiation. And a lot of uh, the patients, a lot of the patient population in IH are of reproductive age, right? So they're so a little younger, so you probably want to be careful about giving them ionizing radiation. So just keep that in mind. Uh, 